my dad was in here when I made my coffee, so I didn't get to show you guys. But look at this foam. It's spectacular, honestly. Anyway, I'm going to make an omelet now. Go get it. <laughs> I want you to jump in it. Come here. Sit. Go get it. Go get it. Go get it. Hi. Go get it. Go get it. You're so lost. Oh, she found it. You almost got it. Yeah. <laughs> you like that? Did you find them all? Good job. <laughs> they told me to land. You ready? Are you done? No? Oh, you curl it up over there? Get the ball! You gotta dig! You gotta dig! Dig! Get the ball! It's in there! It's, it's in there! Get it! <laughs> You're so lost. It's a little cute though. Come on, get it! You don't know where to look. You can't find it. You quit. Are you waiting for me? I'm 
Look at how cute you are. Are you waiting on me? Come on. Let's go, Beats. You're such a cutie. Okay, I'm home alone. Let me get on the light. But um, I just wanted to give an update because I haven't really talked to you guys since Friday. Just been kind of giving dog clips. I, as you can see, I raked up some leaves and the dogs got to play and it was fun and whatever. So anyway, um, my dog, one of them has been on a shock collar. It's probably aware, you're prob it's probably obvious, but um, it's why she has two collars on all the time. But I recently, the other day, I found she had a spot that looked really, really, really bad. Um, and it, I'll show you a picture over here. It's horrible. So warning for injured dog. Um, and I don't know what exactly it's from. But for you, like, da, 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 I don't know what it's from. I don't know if it's from rubbing there. I don't know if it's because it shocked her. I don't know. But... Shocking never really worked with her. I had to eventually get to the point where I um, I just uh, trained her where she can and can't go by like literally making her stay while walking off with a, with the other dog because the other dogs aren't on collar and she can go those places. So I wanted to test it just now to see. That's why partially why I went to my mama's. I also wanted to show her the dog injury. So she, because I've been talking about it, but like, you know, not being able to see it, you don't know how that really is. Um, but yeah, I, um, I went over there and when I came back, because she didn't really try to follow me over there, uh, I think because she thought I was going to put more stuff on her, I've been putting antibiotic cream on her with Q-tips before anybody says don't touch the dog, obviously, I'm not touching the dog, the Q-tip is. Um. I um I wanted to see if she'd do it, if she'd try to follow me off or if she'd stay or what. And she didn't follow me off. When I came back, she was waiting exactly as where she can, where she can go, where she knows she can go. So I think she doesn't know yet that she won't get shocked if she runs off. So that's good. But in case I have the other dog on the chain because she won't go anywhere without the other dog anyway. That's something that my dad just doesn't believe. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to miss being able to have them both loose. But I want her to heal before we put the shot collar back on her. If we even need to put her back on her. Because honestly, the way she just did what she did, or she didn't follow me, and she stayed exactly where she can stay, where she knows she can stay, I think as long as we keep up with that, maybe I keep working with her more with it without the shot collar. And she'll never even know. And maybe she'll stay here. We won't even need a shot collar. Because I don't like it. If it's going to do that, I don't want it. Before you say try to put it in a different spot, you can't. Because it's so heavy. Because the batteries and stuff, it just weighs right back down there. Because I've tried. Believe me. Very foamy. <laughs> Looking at them out the window, and they're just laying right next to each other. They love each other so much, so I just don't want to have them both loose until I, I'm sure Bella's going to stay here. I don't, I don't want her to figure it out, you know. This looks fantastic. So I'm going to sit on the couch and maybe make breakfast, I don't know. And watch The Sopranos, because I literally have two episodes left, you guys. Two. I did it. I got there. I had to watch some this weekend because of getting behind, which I thought was only two episodes, but I go back through what I wrote out for the week and I've somehow completely skipped the number. I don't know how I do that, but I do. So I'm going to sit here and I'm going to watch The Sopranos and I don't care if it's on while I cook. I might cook breakfast, whatever. But honestly, I don't care. I'm too worried about the poor little babies. 
So I want to watch The Sopranos so maybe I can play. I want to get that done super early um, because there's only two episodes. And I normally get about two done in the morning if I get up. What time is that? At 9.40, like it's 9.40. If I start at 10 by like noon, I'm done with two. If I sit here, I stay. And uh, I haven't had breakfast yet, so I might have later lunch. But yeah, I like to get the show done, get everything done, and be done with the Sopranos. It'd be nice. I don't like to start anything new. I want to finish all my shows. So before you ask, my next show is Sister, Sister. Because I started it on Netflix years ago. And I watched it some, but I'm not the biggest fan of Netflix. And I just, um, I might even switch to watching it on Hulu. I don't know. But for now, I, I kind of prefer to watch it on Netflix because if I'm going to watch it on this TV in here, it's never going to update my Apple TV app anyway. I think I just removed The Sopranos too last time because I was trying to mark episodes and I clicked remove and I was just like, whatever. I don't care. I'm never going to watch it in here again. It's fine. Because <laughs> um, I don't need the watch history to be up to date. I just need the stuff to not be there when I watch it. Um, sometimes it takes forever. That's why I ended up removing it, I think, by accident. It's because it was taking me forever to get through the episodes I'd watched. Because I have to do it on my Apple TV. Because my phone's like, no, you, you either have to remove this or mark the whole show's watch. You can't mark just each episode. No, we're not going to let you. Which made no sense to me. But yeah, I, um, I watched... Watching that, I'm gonna watch Sister Sister when I'm done, and I think that one's gonna be like half episode, half hour episodes. I'm gonna get into finishing New Girl. My mom's got Fitness Plus. I might get into working out. I don't know. I kind of rather get to the walking thing. It doesn't get too crazy with the weather again. Uh, to prep for Disneyland, because everybody's like, you need to get in shape for Disneyland. Like, yeah, walking around Disneyland, not. Working out around Disneyland. Am I working out or am I walking? What's a hit workout gonna do for me walking at Disneyland? Nothing. <laughs> I swear. Anyway. Yeah. And then my new show, short show of the week, I did watch Sex Life with College Girls last week. I don't know if I said that. And the week before, because it's two seasons. I'm going to watch Scenes from a Marriage. So I'm sticking with HBO for a minute. Um, and yeah, and when I finish Sister Sister, I think the next one is Two and a Half Men that I was going to do. Because I'm already at season four on that one. Um, but yeah, I watch Cheers and Keeping Up the Kardashians every Sunday. And yesterday was Sunday. And I was supposed to watch four episodes of Keeping Up. Because I didn't watch two last week. But I did not. I only watched two. Because I didn't care. Um, I just added the two to next week. It's just gonna be an ongoing thing where we just do, 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 until I until I get there. And I watched six episodes of Cheers and I finished season five. So I um um I'm really happy about it because apparently Diane's leaving. So that's great because I can't stand her anyway. Okay, I've like literally watched half an episode already, and it's like much later. It's like 11 almost. <laughs> but like, I do lots of stuff. Um, but yeah, I, I just, first time I stopped, I just went to go check and make sure they still had water, which they did not, so I'm glad I did. And then I just went out there and I looked... I was like, let me put some more antibiotic ointment on the dog because it's got some like more definitive spots to it. I'll show you a picture. I took a newer picture. Um, but yeah, she's she's not as red, but she's not healed yet. So be there too, I say. But anyway, yeah, I gotta fill up my water bottle, but I wanna just wanted to pop in and show you that this 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 is the kind of thing that keeps me from watching The Sopranos within the first four hours of the day like I planned because 
It's been an hour and I've only watched half one. That's just what happens. Me and Bella just chilling. I just literally walked inside. I was like, okay, I'm gonna sit out for a while. I look out the window, I see Abby trying to go to the bathroom and she can't do it because she didn't like to do it over there. And I understand. So I was like, okay, I'm like, I'm the hooker. I'll let her go. I had to stop Bella because she was running off after her. So Bella's chilling right here. Abby's way over there, going to the bathroom. Good for her. Let her go. Let her have her, her, her privacy. When she comes back, I'll put her back on the train. But yeah, um, this is the kind of training t time that you need. Just sit outside with the other dog, let the other dog go, if you are trusting them in the yard space, and make the other dog stay. If you, it's, if that's a situation that you have where they run off. Like right now, she's just chilling here because I'm chilling here. Right, Bella. Right. You tilted your head there, and it was really, really cute. And I doubt the camera caught it. Where's your head on this thing? I can't even see it. This chair is in my way. This chair is in my way. Cutie. So, yeah. Oh, there she is. She came back. All right. I'm going to put her back on the chain. Oh, my yeah, Abby's back on the chain. Yes, I would love to leave them both loose, but I'm not keeping an eye on them. I'm sitting inside watching The Sopranos. And like I said, I don't want to risk it. And I'm glad that I did do that because Bella was running off after Abby when Abby was running off to the bathroom. And if Bella hadn't stopped because I told her to, I bet you she'd have kept going and they'd have just gone. So that's why. That is exactly why. Because she has probably figured it out that she has the shot color off. She, I'm sure she knows. There's no way she doesn't know. Um, but yeah, that is why. I have her on the leash, on the chain. I will sit outside and I'll let them both be loose at some point today, but for now we're trying to finish the Sopranos. So I'm gonna try to get back to that and really sit here and watch. I have not eaten breakfast, so I'm getting hungry. So I'm gonna eat lunch, I'm gonna wash my hands because I just touched dog mouths with my hand uh, to give them treats for doing good jobs. Because positive reinforcement works the best. That's what I've discovered. It's what all dog lovers and dog owners should know. Positive reinforcement, give them a treat. Works every time. Okay, I just gave my babies some corn muffins. If I switch, Bella's still eating off the ground. And I'm gonna look for a meatloaf recipe because my dad has beef in the fridge, like defrosted. I guess because he wanted to do something with it and then he didn't. Um, I don't know what he wants to do with it, so I'm not gonna cook all of it. But I wanna make meatloaf and he liked my meatloaf. So I think he'll eat it. And if I make it now, like for lunch, he'll get to eat it when he comes home. So I'm gonna make some meatloaf. Okay, I got meatloaf in the oven, which the timer is on my phone because it's gonna take at least, I'm, it says an hour and a half in the book, but I'm gonna start with just an hour because I cut the recipe in half and I don't wanna overcook it. And I know what a half is a lot less of an hour to do, but I can up it as I go. I just didn't want to do a full straight hour and a half. Anyway, I've wiped these counters. I'm about to wipe this one again because I just used it. And I'm going to get the floors ready, get everything ready, and I'll get the Roomba run eventually. That way it's, just, it's ready. All I have to do is run it. But I want to start some clothes. Got the dishwasher started. Got I use a big bowl that took up some space. So yeah, I'm gonna check on the dogs, and then I'm gonna start some laundry, come back in here, finish the Sopranos, wait for my food to be ready, eat it, and run the Roomba. I guess you haven't figured out that you can go farther, so that's good. But you waited for me, and I love that, because you're my little pretty girl, come on. I know I got bananas in my hand, where are you? There you are. You see the bananas? You want the food, huh, baby? Okay, my mama had some really ripe bananas. That's why I had bananas in the last clip. Uh, I'm gonna make banana bread donuts because my mom got me a little donut maker. Uh, I think that'll be really fun. And I can't see, but I'm gonna grab my clothes and wash them. And I just checked on the meatloaf and it looks like it's doing pretty good. So I don't think it'll even take a full hour, but I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna leave it in there longer. So. Are you hiding from something? What happened, baby? Nobody gets in here, so I appreciate that you got in here to get out the sun. Is that why you're in here? Because it's so hot? I'm sorry. 
but at least you're in here now, cutie. Okay, I don't have long. I have a four minute timer going. I'm making banana bread donuts because I got a little recipe with the donut maker my mom got me. This is it. She's making donuts. She's got mix right here. It told me to like pipe it, but like I'm not piping it. I'll put it in a spoon. That's fine. Uh, but I have a ton of dishes to do uh, now. But I just finished the Sopranos, which I wasn't even paying attention to. We got meatloaf. We got donuts. We have a ball over here. I'm glad I got to eat at least one of our eight one because I had to try. I had to see if it was overcooked or not. It wasn't. It was perfect. It was great. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to like pop in and let you guys know what's happening. Um, yeah. Uh, that's what's up. I'll show you guys when I fill up the next batch because there's definitely gonna be more. I'm so excited. So I'm starving. I can't wait. I can't just keep making batches of this. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to take this plate with this, maybe one more, to my mama and some meatloaf. And I'm going to pause for a bit. So I am going to unplug it because I don't want a fire hazard. But it's open. It's still hot. Whatever. And I'm going to get some meatloaf. And we're going to go eat some meatloaf gonna be fun i think she said she's gonna make mashed potatoes and it is almost one and that's around when she eats and i told her so she's gonna be prepared so let's do this <laughs> 